Hi, I'm Chris, the developer of the Tonally app, and today we'll have a look at how to use the app to learn and practice scales. Why is it useful to get into scales at all? If you know some essential scales, it's much easier to find melodies for songs, solos, bass lines, whatever. Why? Because you know which notes go with which chords. And it's also a great exercise to improve your skills on the instrument. There are two sections that are dedicated to scales in the app. Let's first have a look at modes. You can switch to this section up here. This part of the app helps you to learn basic scales and keep track of the chords that are built upon these scales. The selected scale is written in the staff. If you can't read music, you can look them up on the built-in instrument. The most common string instruments in different tunings are included and of course the piano. You can also go full screen to focus on the scale or even practice scales on the go with the interactive piano. If you want to learn to read music and you're insecure about the name of a note in the staff, you can display letter names to find them faster on your instrument. And if you want to practice in a different clef, you can just tap on it. Another helpful feature is that you can display scale intervals related to the Ionian major scale. This will help you to transfer scales into any other key. Let's have a look at this. The Ionian major scale is numbered from 1 to 7. This is the root scale which this system is based on. If I change the scale to, for example, Mixolydian, you can see that this is almost the same as the Ionian scale, only the seventh tone is modified with a flat meaning that this tone is a half step lower than in the Ionian major scale. Let's check this on the piano. In C Ionian, the scale only uses white keys. Setting it to C Mixolydian, you notice that it uses a lot of white keys again, except for the seventh tone. That became a half step lower. In case you don't know it, a flat decreases a tone a half step and a sharp increases a tone a half step. If you learn scales based on these patterns rather than the actual names of the notes, you will be able to transfer them much faster into another key as these intervals remain the same no matter which key you're in. Now let's have a look at the scales mode. Switch to scales up here. What happened to the circle? The circle of fifths now is shown in its traditional way with only the root notes and its minor relatives. Why is that? In this section are plenty of scales available and not all of them form chords that can be represented as a mode in the circle. You can use the wheel to change the key of the scale and in this way increase the difficulty of the scale step by step as new accidentals will be added each step. What's handy as well is that you have the circle of fifths always in front of you while practicing. There's a separate video about the circle of fifths if you want to learn more about it. And by the way, if you shake your device in one of those modes, you will select random scale. So, have fun practicing. See you next time.